Two buttons? I mean, really? Two buttons. Every character has two attack buttons, which you can press in sequence to auto combo. Not that you really need an auto combo, because all your combos are going to be made out of two buttons. Now, I know I'm not including the clash attack button, but I'm doing that on purpose because when you press the clash attack button, you do this clash attack, which stops everything. So that's more of like a big special attack. And you use it to do your X moves as a substitute button for one of your two button presses. Look, I get that's a tag fighter, so it makes sense why you would limit each character so that they would have less attacks, so it's more like building the perfect two-person character. But when you guys just put out Dragon Ball Z and each one of those characters still had their four buttons to attack, it just feels kind of cheap and lazy. I mean, I'll probably still get this game. I like ARK's 2D fighters a lot, and by that I mean I like Persona 4 Arena a lot. I don't really care much for BlazBlue or Undernight. Not that I've played Undernight. But this game feels very, very simple. The meters are easy to understand, you got really simple moods, you do a ton of damage, fights are over really, really quickly, and again, the controls are really, really simple. But it almost feels too simple, and I'm the guy that complains saying that he thinks fighting games are too complicated. Too bad the roster of this game is awful. Like, Blake and Yang are DLC characters. Kanji is a DLC character. What is this?